Hey everyone, it's Alastair from Perth Hand Car Wash. Just wanted to do a quick video on um, orange peel and what orange peel is, how you notice it, where you see it, um, and what you can do about it. Okay, so basically, it's called orange peel for a reason. So if you have a look at an orange, and you look at the skin, okay, you'll see all these little kind of bumps and hollows through the orange, right? All the way around, okay. So if you look at a car, right? So this is our cross section of our red car. So if you look across a car like that, okay, across the paintwork, you'll sort of see all these slight sort of wavy bumps in the paintwork. Very, very, you know, it's 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 hard to see. If you're looking directly on a car, you can't really see it. But whenever you look at it, sort of side on across the bodywork, you will you will sort of see it. it depends what car you have. Uh, I've got a Volkswagen um, Caddy, um, and I, I've I've a little bit on mine, okay. So. One of the things that you can do, and I highly, I do not recommend, well, I highly recommend using a professional for this. I would not try this at home if you have never done it before. It is a really specialist type of um, detailing. Okay, so can't stress that enough. All right. So what what we usually do with this is we call we have a process called wet sanding. Okay. Now what's what wet sanding is is sanding the clear coat. Okay. So that's why um, it is usually for professionals to do, okay? So don't try this at home. I'm just here to explain what it is, okay? So, we're looking at our paintwork. We've got the surface like that, okay? As you can see from my line, okay? So what wet sanding is, right? Or what wet sanding does basically is you're taking off the layer of clear coat in order to get it to the lowest point. Okay? So we would be, or professional detailers, right, will basically be sanding this down, okay, to get it to this line here, all right, to get it to that line there. So sanding across, okay, right. So the reason why you see this, okay, is we've got our sun up here, so these are our swirls from the other video. So we've got our sun, um, we've got our sun beating down, okay, there's our sun, and it's going down on that, and then it's going down on that, and it's reflecting off, reflecting off, it's going down on that, and it's reflecting off, or whatever our angles, whatever it might be, okay? So that's why your eye will see that, okay? All right, so whenever we sand it down, okay, to the perfect, it's pretty much this line here. Let's just get rid of this line. Okay, so that is now perfectly flat, okay? What happens is, sun beats down, and the rays pretty much just go straight back up, okay? Like that, all right, or whatever. Okay, it's a pretty bad arrow, but yeah. And that's pretty pretty much what it is, okay? Um, so the process process is, Sanding it down, okay, using certain um, grades of sand or sandpaper for the car, okay. Sanding the clear coat down to get this perfectly flat level, okay, and that is how you get pretty much how you get like people talk about a mirror reflection, okay. So that's pretty much one of the best ways to um, to actually get that in your paintwork, okay. Um, and what so basically you're sand, sanding down the uh, peaks, okay. Bring that down, flat level, okay? And then when, once you sand it, what you have to do is you have to bring it usually back up, um, sort of maybe two or three stage polish, um, depending on what way you sand it and, and a few other different factors. Um, so um, sand, or sorry, sand down the surface and then polish the surface out, okay? And that will bring back your paintwork all the way um, to the mirror um, image and gloss, okay? Just, you know, depends on what way you do it what products you use, what pads you use, what polish you use, okay? I'm not going into that in this video, okay? So that's pretty much what it is in a nutshell, really. So um, I hope that I hope you understand that. If you don't have, um, if you don't, uh, send us a message. Um, we'd love to, we'd love to give you a hand. All right, thanks now.